the plan if you only this turn. Uh. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Carbon. I bring you another standard match. Today, once again, we do have Joshua on the left, my teammate, of course. Uh, but this time, he is going to be playing one of his kind of just like pet decks that he has a lot of faith in. And I'll be honest, kind of scary deck. Um, that, of course, being Chaos on the left. Um, definitely a very scary deck now that we finally do have access to the promo, which means that they can get into their kill turn like one turn earlier. Well, so we'll go ahead and see how that goes up against a deck like Maigo, uh, which is kind of proficient at like doing a lot of early game rush and just like going straight from the get-go instantly. Uh, but anyways, uh, I did actually have to read a lot of the Maigo cards, which I am um, deeply frustrated with. I don't want to have to read these cards. Like, well, what's up with that? Anyways, um, for those of you not in the my know, <laughs> um, basically what Maigo does is they play this other like Krifik ride line uh, where like when they ride into the grade one, it searches out this order that when you play it, it searches out another card, which is like kind of like insane. Like, I didn't have access to that. Anyways, we see double Makani being called on the Chaos side swinging in. All three are going to be connecting. Um, except for that last one, of course, gonna be blocked. Not gonna get into any defensives there, um, and that's just gonna be it for turn for Chaos. So Chaos definitely is a deck that tries to rush so that it goes for that final kill turn. Because if it does kind of miss that final kill turn, then um, you're a little fucked. So you kind of just die if you don't manage to kill them. Anyways, we still have the skill of that grade one, which is like when something that isn't a Krifik is placed, you gotta just put it into Soul and draw a card, which once again is also a little insane. Another insane card. Um, is this grade 2, which lets you on place counter buffs 1, and then check top 5, I think. It's either top 5 or top 7, or whatever. Um, you call Maigo um, onto the board, which, um, as you can see there, I think that was just a little bit of a cheat there, because you're actually supposed to call the card that you, uh, you do get off of it. Um, it's not actually free, but we are going to be seeing it called anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we would have just called it there uh, in any case. Um, Kind of deciding what our attack pattern is, yeah. Of course, probably want to swing with the uh, 10k first because you know that's the, the other one's gonna be hitting over defensive. So, we're gonna be hitting a con great three Makani into damage though, which is uh, definitely like a little concerning because you do you eventually need to see you only need to see two Makani's um, either in soul or in your hand. So, if you lose one to damage zone, it's not that concerning, but um, you definitely don't want to keep losing cards to damage zone like that. Anyways, okay, riding into the great two is going to allow you to um, basically soul charge any normally this one's top two cards of the deck uh, and then we're going to be using this other card that came out in set 11 a really solid support card uh for baramag or for baramag for chaos from that set uh, let's see cv1 check top two add one and then that goes to soul i believe and then i think like when a makani is placed it's like 5k and boost so uh clearly it's not going to be there right now uh, but we're going to continue that rush, calling down the promo, which is perfectly fine, because it's not an on place, it's actually an act, it just, like, finds itself, and we're just going to, like, rewrite the second, uh, Chaos, so we're just going to go ahead and start continuing to lay on that pressure, and unfortunately, this first damage check is going to be a front trigger, so not only is all our, is this attack going to whiff without a trigger, but it also means that that last attack can attack Vanguard, and you can't even attack the rear guard there, so deeply unfortunate to be seeing, uh, you know, that defensive trigger there um, for Chaos. But we are going to be riding into the Grade 3 Maigo, which is a lot of check top 7, and I think this one does definitely let you add one uh, from the top 7. So I guess I can explain Maigo's game plan. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get these uh, five specific rear guards on board. I guess they're like the band members or something. Um, and once you have all of them there on board with different names, then you can kind of start heading off to the races, and things get pretty insane. Um, anyways, the other skill of the main banger is Soul Blast 1, you call up to one card from your bind zone, then if your opponent is right through, you call two instead, um, which is kind of its main skill because a lot a lot of these things, uh, the, the front row rearguards bind themselves for skill, like um, this one on the left column, it gets 5k every time it attacks, but it has to bind itself at the end of the turn, and this other one lets you like bind it to draw a card. 
So we're going to be seeing that skill used once again, Counter Blast once, she's top 5, and then Superior Calling. Unfortunately, getting another copy of her, so that's not really going to be doing much in this instance. But once again, another little bit of a cheat. We did totally just add that to our hand when we're supposed to call it. Um, it is not going to matter very much in the long run. Um, we'll see why. Uh, we sh but in all honesty, we probably should just called it to the back row center rear guard. Uh, anyways, we've got this other great one, which is like half a Reseus on place to give something 5k. Um, and then it looks like we're going to be using the Vanguard skill, which allows you to uh, just, you know, search the deck or drop for a music order, which is those sideways cards that we've kind of been seeing. Um, here's one right now. And then you just play it. Um, they're really weird. They like go into the back row center column. Uh, this one specifically uh, has a skill that we'll be taking a look at later. Uh, anyways, we're going to be using this girl, the short-haired, white-haired girl, the short, white-haired girl, uh, for a nice 23, very good magic number. Hitting the second Makani into damage zone, which is very, once again, unfortunate. Uh, going to be swinging this 18k column. Maybe we take that because, okay, yeah, we do take that. And um, that's very unfortunate because the skill of uh, the order is actually going to let us, uh, well, we'll talk about it later. For now, we do have to deal with this over trigger here, which is going to be adding back a, a critical trigger there, giving the crit to the Vanguard and the 100 million to that rear guard. Um, the second check is going to be a draw trigger, so even more disastrous things coming on as we take two damage. We do get a defensive there, so that might come in handy, um, but the other effect of that order is at the end of the battle that your Vanguard attacks, uh, we've got another cheat here. Uh, you are supposed to discard a card in order to actually rescan the board, um, which obviously is not so. Currently, uh, the Mygo player should be having minus two cards in hand, um, but we are going to be taking this first swing here because it looks like we can't guard it, but we are going to be getting hit with a nice six damage heal. So that is going to save us. We do have the PG for the 100 million. Uh, during the end phase, all those cards do have to bind themselves. And of course, the pink haired girl is going to let you draw a card uh, in search skill. Um, but anyways, going to be finally getting to that grade 3 chaos. Uh, I'm not sure how many names we have right now, but I'm just going to... I know the last time I did chaos, I had to put like a little tracker, but I, I don't want to do that. That's, that sounds like a lot of work. And besides, it doesn't really matter for very many skills here, um, as you're going to be seeing. We're going to be EB70 in towards draw a card. Uh, unfortunately, our hand isn't looking that great, but we do at least have access to the promo. Uh, not sure how many Makanis we have in the drop zone, or in the drop zone, in the soul. But, you know, if we can get there, then um, that should be pretty good. So we're going to use Chaos's skill, Tire Blasting 1, discarding a card. I think let's check top 3. One goes to hand, one goes to board, and one goes to soul. Correct. Gosh, like, uh, <laughs> it feels like so long since we've actually, like, seen uh, Chaos actually, you know, base form Chaos. Everyone just knows the new form Chaos is the uh, superior attack. We're going to be adding one. Uh, putting the other grade 3 Makani, not the grade 3, the other grade 3 Chaos in Soul, which is going to be very uh, good if we do end up seeing the Order card, because that puts another Chaos name into the Soul, um, which makes 0, 1, 2, the first 3, and the first, uh, or the new 3, meaning that we can, uh, if we use that Order, we can put up to 5 cards into the Soul from the top 5. Um, Course. We are going to be proccing the promo here, riding into the second chaos, um, meaning that you know we have access to our kill turret, but of course we don't have access to Persona Ride. But hopefully we can set up enough to the point where it's not going to matter. Um, going to be using the skill, the the second Makani, um, in order to uh, Soul Charge three. I believe you add a card to hand and then you call something. Uh, but we did actually see the third Makani being uh, Soul Charge there, so that is definitely. You know what we want to be looking at or something we definitely want to be having so we're going to be adding a crit trigger from our soul to our hand uh just counting out the cards in the soul looking like 10 um 12 something like that somewhere in that range uh, we're going to be using the uh grade one makani in order to put it to soul and call out the grade three makani sliding back that grade two uh looks like we do actually have the order there so there is definitely the potential of just playing that and getting more cards in soul we were tiring the grade 2 for the uh, Quen Li, or whatever her name is, Ki Ken, Ken Lu, uh, giving the guard restrict and the extra 2k to that Makani there, uh, which is kind of the devastating part about Chaos. Uh, once they get that guard restrict on, you've got these really big Makani numbers that are un so you definitely have to rely on like other matters. Um, let's see, we're using this 
Oh, we're using the order here. Yeah, I was just talking about it. Checking the top five cards of the deck, we get to put any number. Basically, since we do have the five uh, Chaoses in the soul. Uh, looks like we did find a second Connie there, which is definitely what we, we needed. Uh, then putting those two cards and then putting the other three back into the deck. Uh, probably just doing triggers, um, like putting all the normal units and just like, you know, doing the other uh, stuff like that. You know, you want to hit triggers. Anyways, uh, that order does also give the Makani on the left a another 10k power boost, so uh, another way that Makani just end up getting bigger and bigger. Um, and we are going to be using the skill, I think the other skill of the order, unless you call something from Souls, so we're going to call the Kinue. We're going to use um, the second grade 1 Makani to call the other grade 3 Makani that we managed to Soul Charge, and then of course giving that Makani Garter Shirt as well. Gonna be using uh, the Chaos skill, binding the original Chaos in order to give everything on board another 10k power. So now we've got this first Makani swinging in for a 25, probably the smallest number here. And I think we, if we had a trick, no, we probably should have guarded that because we could have guarded it with um, the trigger that we had to back off the blue OT. Uh, but we're gonna be taking these first two Makani swings, probably betting on defenses. But I think honestly, you probably should have tried your best to guard these. Peaching the Vanguard here. Um, gonna be seeing Chaos's own blue OT off the top here. Um, can we get getting that PG back to hand? Uh, signing the hundred million. It doesn't really matter. I would probably yeah, probably that Makani because it is um, a little bit weaker. Although I don't think so because these are both. Let's see, that's a 25k booster behind the other Makani. That other one is a 15k booster, but it also has 10k from the order. So I think these numbers should be relatively the same, um, if I'm not mistaken. But we're gonna be giving the hundred million to the other one, and second chance could be nothing um, as we're in a sweep for. Um, I think what we did is we gave crit to this Makani and then 100 million to the other one. Um, but that Makani is going to connect and just end the game right there and then. So as you can see, the uh, you know the extra card in hand did absolutely jack shit. But that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to do things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. In